<clears throat> this NFL best ball draft edition of the sports gambling podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign today, bet 100, get 100 at sports gambling podcast.com slash WinBet. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash WYNNBET. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by the College Basketball Experience. March Madness is heating up, and you need to subscribe to the College Basketball Experience. It's awesome, baby. Baby. Hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of Circa Las Vegas. You're listening to FGPN. Let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Gotta be honest, Sean. I'm feeling a little dehydrated. I don't know if it's the hammies. Uh, hopefully, I don't pull a muscle. It's early seasons. It's cold outside. I know I'm an endurance athlete, but I'll, <laughs> I'm just concerned. I'm not prepared for this. I'm pounding some caffeine here. That's not good for the muscles. Well, Ryan, Ryan was worried because he said we're ahead of schedule of last year's schedule as far as the amount of NFL best ball drafts we've done. We but are. he's still worried that we're not. We haven't done more drafts, so we're going to be doing uh, drafts the entire off season and uh, one a week. I'm we're crowbarring this shit in in the middle of March Madness. Well, we're we're cranking out a ton of college basketball picks podcasts. Check them out. We already got a couple conference tournament uh, previews out, a couple winners as well. So again, subscribe. YouTube chats lit. YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Hit subscribe. Toss a thumbs up. Let's get it going. And of course, this podcast and all the podcasts on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network presented by WinBet. Of course, bet big, win bigger over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Bet 100, get 100. State restrictions apply. So many ways to win over on win bet. Spin that parlay wheel. Come on. Get fired up. March Madness. Like I said, I mean, already, already cashing some winners. Get some conference tournament odds out there. Lehigh to win the Patriot League. Let's go. Again, so many ways to win. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Win bet bet big, win even bigger. Offer subject to change terms, conditions at winbet.com. See twenty one or older and present. The same play through winbet is available. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call one 4700 Ryan here helping us uh, crank out this underdog fantasy best ball draft. And again, underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN. Get that hundred percent deposit bonus up to one hundred dollars. We have two gentlemen from the Fantasy Football Podcast. First up, we got Mr. Justin Bruni. What's happening, Bruni? Not a whole lot. P- yes. Pleasure to be here. Getting yeah. some more drafts in. Yeah. Drafts. I uh, love it. YouTube.com slash sports game and podcast. You have to see Bruni's uh Wayne's World background. I I for a <laughs> while there I go, this I can't wait to come on the show because I'm gonna make fun of his background and say he lives in Wayne's World, but then it's it's a virtual background. You really fooled me. Which it is, looks very it's realistic. Very awesome though. <laughs> no, I mean, Wayne, Wayne's Wayne, parents uh they had the basement right, that's for sure. <laughs> I do have uh, I have some Wayne world uh, type moments. When like we, you know, moved our show from Ryan's garage to the office, it's still it, it has that garage vibe, but it's not Ryan's garage. It, it re- very it's because it's artisanal reminded. in here, just like Wayne's uh, basement, very artisanal. Yes, and and a big pile of like crap sitting in the corner, much like the garage. That's what it takes Ex- to be artisanal. Excalibur over my shoulder here. Yes, Excalibur. Oh, I forgot the uh, the guitar's name. If you're not careful, <laughs> Wayne, you're gonna lose me. We broke up, Stacy. I don't own a gun, let alone multiple guns that would necessitate a rack. You know what's cool <laughs> is the kids are aware of Wayne's World. 
Wow. High well, school age kids are check it aware. Out, guys. Of, yeah, they are aware of Wayne's World. For the young folks, make sure you check out Wayne's World. Make sure you check out Andrew Robb sitting here, oh. as always, talking underdog fantasy football. Uh, Andrew, how are you holding up with the news that uh, Carson Wentz has oh, been no. released from your commanders? You know, uh, it, it was really hard to get up because I was just so <laughs> rock hard about seeing them save so much money by getting rid of that piece of shit. So, you know, I started my week off correct. They released two people, saved $30 million in the cap. And then what do they do? Not sign Deron Payne for a long-term deal and just put the cap on him. So, you know, it, it is what it is, but I was so excited to see Wentz going, man. I, I like that. We employ uh, medium aged people who remember Wayne's world and enjoy being rock hard. <laughs> like that's, that's, I, I feel like that could be in the corporate bylaws call. there. Now, uh, what are you going to do about your commander Carson tattoo that you have? <laughs> are you going to be able to get that <laughs> replaced to a Sam Hal? Are you going to add like a crying Jordan face on Carson Wentz? What are oh, you going to do? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, th th there's a lot of ways to get rid of shit. You know, um, I, I won't get into it, but there's, there's ways to do that. But you know, I thought it was going to be how, and then Ron Rivera shoves his head up his ass today and says he is not our starter. Well, I, at least he will, you know, maybe will be the starter. If he wins it, this team is just always a mess. Dan Snyder's the curse. As soon as we get rid of him, we get the tick out of our fucking ass. So we'll see. If only Jeff Bezos didn't piss off Dan Snyder that one time, the deal, the deal could be done already. Wow. You must really hate a guy to turn down like hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, the billions, I imagine oh, it's billions. Yeah. I imagine if Bezos buys the team, that's the best price. I, I, you're, you're crazy to turn down Jeff Bezos, Bezos. If you're, you know, I know you wanted a, uh, you're not going to get an NFL franchise, but what about a leading NFL uh, gambling podcast and sports gambling podcast network? Bezos, our line is open. Drop us, a, drop us, a, give us a call. Well, I mean, uh, we literally, when you buy an Island, it's not like there's a market for that shit. So, you know, he got ripped off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We feel like more of an Elon, uh, you know, company. Yes. So shout out Elon Bezos is probably a tool, but Hey man, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, if, if he's paying, I'm listening. Who do you think fucks harder <laughs> Elon or Bezos or Snyder? Fuck Mary kill. Oh Snyder. man. That is, that oh, is the ultimate. Snyder. So, yeah, sorry. That's too well, easy. Yeah, that <laughs> so Snyder too, too ball one there. He's, yeah. Andrew's too close to the situation. All right, let's get to it. Ryan. Let's fire up the draft. What are we doing? What's oh, happening? Hold on. I, I'm having a couple technical difficulties. Okay. Give me a second. While we're doing that, uh, we can uh, Justin Bruni. I saw you tweeted out oh. that you, you traded Carson Wentz. <laughs> no, or no, not Carson. No, Wentz. Oh, that was the ultimate Freudian, Freudian slip. slip. You traded <laughs> Jalen hurts. Why would you trade Jalen hurts? No, uh, it was, it's a project team. I traded him <laughs> to essentially blow it up. One you four was the, the, uh, the highest pick that I have. And yeah, the, the market, uh, you know, <laughs> that I got back or the return that I got back was, you know, pretty equitable to what I'm getting in other leagues, or I've gotten a better quarterback than Jalen hurts for less. So, you know, <laughs> they they, like, it was definitely, you got like three picks in each. You got the uh, first, second and third for the next like, yeah, three I'm, years. You do it. This is like a Ricky Williams S trade. You have seven picks you got for uh, Jalen hurts. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not bad, but there's people that uh, definitely thought that I should have gotten a lot more. Really? What? I mean, yeah, I, I know, I, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, it was a pretty polarizing topic on the Twitter machine. There. Sean, we, uh, we are leading. We are GMing a very last place uh, team. Hopefully we have the first pick. I hear B. John Robinson's a bit of a prize. Um, all right. Technical difficulties have been overcome. I'm going to go. put us all up on the screen. Bang. All right. So what are we doing? We're hopping into the NFL streets. All right, is everyone ready to enter? What is the uh, yes, yes sir. ten dollar entry fee yes. over at underdogfantasy.com? Promo code SGPN. Two hundred thousand right, dollars. Ten spots left. We're to first place. And again, if you're watching live on YouTube, YouTube.com <laughs> slash Sports Game Podcast, toss us the thumbs Sean, up. You in? Smash that subscribe button. Yep. Yep. Five. I more. know. I know the read's important, but you being in the right draft is also important. <laughs> I am. I'm in the right draft. I see Justin Jefferson, number one ADP. Who Bruni? Who's your Who's your one point one right now? It's It's JJ, J yeah. I, and I think uh, Rob will commit to this too. Is uh, you know when you get these top bit, uh, picks, like there's only so many options you're going to go with. You're not going to pull somebody up into this spot because if you're doing a lot of these drafts, like you know you're trying to get as many of these you know top five picks as you can. So not going to get too cute. Uh, I wouldn't mind just getting more uh, Jefferson shares if I had like multiple first first overall picks. Yeah, I, I'm wondering. You know, we're 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 market uh prognosticators, Sean. So I, I do wonder, <laughs> like, 
if we're sitting here, so Andrew, I know you'll be out there. It's FFPC weekend. I know it's a different format, but just for the met, the, the significance of us zooming ahead to NFL season is Justin Jefferson. The still the first pick. Well, now that's full point PPR. Even underdog, if it's not, underdog just, underdog even on underdog. I'll, uh, we can be talking about underdog. I just <laughs> wanted to mention that we're going to be sitting near each other in a room with other old guys drafting fantasy football teams. Is he the number one overall on underdog for best ball mania four? When all said and done, yeah, I think Ooh. so. I think Ooh. it's going to be JJ. Um, I think the only person who could potentially, you know, subside him would be McCaffrey. But uh, I mean, you got a lot of people who just want to take wide receivers at the top of the draft. So yeah, I, I think it stays JJ. Yeah, I don't know, Sean. I, I, this is. Are we finally seeing the death of the running back? I also wonder how much these, like Bruni, you think the quarterbacks are still going to be first, second round guys by the by the end of the summer? Uh, there's definitely going to be some names that, you know, come up the board that maybe push them down a little bit, because I think right now, like when you get to like Mahomes and Hertz, they just feel a little bit safer than some of the uncertain, you know, player yeah. situations that are going on at those ADPs. So I think they'll fall down a little bit, but no, I think that if you're going to want those like top couple guys, you're going to have to commit early ADP for them. That's my take on it. I think the reason the quarterbacks are so high is they, they, they do appear to be much more sure things, mm -hmm. which but I mean, that's, it's just not the best way. I, I, it can't be Ooh. the best way to build the team. All right. Where are we at? Influencer, oh. influencer oh. 101 for Bruni. God. Oh, wow. He already told so us all who he's going to pick. <laughs> so we got Bruni in the one. Kramer, you're in the two. Uh, Sean, you're in the seven. All right. Team Ramrod, Gindy, friend of the program, uh, in the Ramrod, 10. And I am pulling up the rear as the cabo uh, caboose in the 12. I do like the Poor 12. Andrew side. can never get in the top five. Dude, never, man. <laughs> Who who have you who do you like at the end of the first round, Andrew? Uh, honestly, you know if you can grab the the AJ Brown Hurts stack, um, I like doing that because that's really the only way that that you can do it. Um, you know, I honestly I don't mind taking two wide receivers, whoever falls, whether that's Adams, Brown, Lamb. Um, I'm okay taking Amra St. Brown as well, but any combination of that because I have found after doing a bunch of these that you can really grab value at running back in anywhere from three to seven I know that's what they consider the running back dead zone uh but I I still think there's there's value to be had there all right what, what is this not oh, draft oh, is off and running Justin Jefferson goes to Bruni as he sick and true to his board what do you got Kramer yeah, number I mean, two I'm I'm still I'm st I'm I want to do something different and I keep taking these running backs early and it's a different team so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the I think the 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 obvious number two receiver Agreed. and and take chase and see what we can do with it I've, I've ended up with a lot of running back early drafts so far so I, I want to do something I, like well, like what you were just basically saying there there will be running backs to be had whether they're rookies uh whether they're just you know, the, the Josh, the journeyman, Josh Jacobs types of the world that were really just on one team and people hated on too hard. And they that really right now, they, they super hate uh, on some of these mid, middle tier running backs. So, and I, I'm <laughs> going to try to take a, a quarterback that doesn't suck. I every, I, I, maybe if I can work that stack out, that would be nice, but I've been pretty shitty with, with some of my uh, quarterback builds so far. So I'm going to, that's my two things. I want good receivers and a good quarterback. <laughs> Whoa. So Tyree kill goes Christian McCaffrey, <laughs> Travis Kelsey, Cooper cup. I reach for uh, AJ Brown in the seventh spot. Wow. Stefan Diggs goes, what do we think about? What do we think about Cooper cup? Uh, I'll ask you Bruni. What do we think about Cooper cup? Obviously huge question mark with mm -hmm. Stafford. I mean, he says he's going to be back. How healthy is cup? What's their team going to look like? But again, you know, when uh, obviously the season before, massive production probably splits the difference, but what, what's your thought? I think he's a great target in best ball because building up a Ram stack is very easy to do in this yeah. format right now. Um, you're getting Stafford at late value. You're getting, you know, those roundabout pieces and van Jefferson, Allen Robinson, really late tire Tyler Higby really late right now. Cam Akers is the guy at the depth uh, top of the depth chart. He again, very friendly ADP the situation. I mean, as long as Stafford comes back, I mean, he's been an absolute iron man in this league. I mean, I think that it was just a little bit, you know, too much to overcome last season. And I think, you know, he was still kind of worn down from the previous year, you know, playing hurt, which has kind of been his MO his entire career, uh, especially in Detroit. I, I think he had like seven or eight seasons where he went, where he hadn't missed like any games, like some ridiculous run. So as long as he's back, I don't think we should have any concerns about Cooper cup. 
his ADP going in the top eight picks, pretty appropriate. And like I said, the the Rams team build on best on best ball underdog right now is, is very obtainable, very easy. Yeah, it's a good point. The basically you're getting like, and that could actually be your number two stack, and you still have Cup as like a right. number one overall. Uh, so what do we got here? Devonte Adams goes, Eckler, C.D. Lamb, Saquon Barkley, Amon Ross, Eight Brown, Bijan Robinson, top of the second round. Uh, Jonathan Taylor off the board. Bijan Robinson, man, I just I don't know if I could do it. I, uh, I if guess he's an eagle. You're going to be drafting him there in a heartbeat. Uh, maybe if not earlier. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? <laughs> yeah, can you believe what you're saying right now? I Come just on, don't. Shane. How does he become an eagle? Do you think he'll be there at 30? All right, so I will say I, I don't the, think he'll be there at 30, but the they amount, can move up. And yeah, they're no, not, they're not going to take him at the 10. amount of people mocking, and they've never taken a uh, running back in the first round. It's got to be more than smoke, right? A lot of people no. are mocking the Eagles. To, to other, I mean, I believe you if you just say they don't. They don't have. They don't They've know never taken about. a running back in the first round. I'm not arguing that point. I'm just saying a lot Things of people change. are mocking it. Yeah, exactly. How um, he might be see, losing. Go ahead. I do see in the chat, always fresh, never soggy. Uh, he's he's also in the draft at the nine spot. He's a uh, serially. Yeah, hey, don't take all my players, guy. He's he's going by the handle cereal. So uh, Josh Allen goes. I pick up Jalen Hurts for the AJ Brown stack. Derrick Henry, Patty Mahomes off the board. What kind of dog are you, cereal? Looks like a schnauzer or something. Showtime, my home. What is that? That's like he, the, the it's like the German dog. Cereals on the clock. Kramer, uh, you're coming up, and then a, Bruni at the end. It's a real villain dog. Is that a boxer? No, oh, maybe. definitely not a, bo- no, definitely not say, a boxer. Let's uh, say, what's the Scottish yeah. Terrier? I think. Oh, beautiful. He takes Kenneth Walker in the second oh, round here. Took my guy. I, really? I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Killing me. Garrett Wilson goes. T Higgins goes. Now Bruni, you have back to back picks. What are you doing here? You got Justin Jefferson. Now you got to wait forever. Yeah, I'm probably He's going gonna... a combination of running back and receiver here. I'm going full zero RB. I'm just announcing that. Wow. Oh, F- yeah, FYI, way to... FYI, everyone. Yeah, say way to show your cards. Ooh, Bruni taking Brees Hall. Not scared of the injury. Yikes. No. There's a little, there's a nice little cheat code for drafting Brees Hall in these drafts as well. His name is Michael Carter. Mm. Oh yeah. You get him round 18, round 17. It's free. Can't make up my mind here. I'm just not going to let Sean stack up on these Eagles. Oh, oh wow. Devonta <laughs> Smith, huh? What? And there he goes. Kramer, you're on the clock. You're employing zero RB. You got T Higgins, Jamar chase. So oh, man. be a real shame if you don't get you Joe can- Burrow. You can get a nice build with the zero RB approach with rookies alone. Uh, obviously, not including Bijan. You know, you're not going to be able to get him included into that. God but, damn it! You know, starting with like Jameer Gibbs. I told then... myself, like Nick Chubb, I can't pass on Nick Chubb in the third <laughs> rounds. It's over. That's it. It's over. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. What are we doing here, guys? <laughs> All right. I t- now now someone's going to fuck me and take Joe Burrow. I understand that. I also couldn't look myself in the mirror if I took Joe Burrow ahead of Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Where do you what do you what's the latest on Lamar Jackson? Um, supposedly he lost out on a big shoe deal because he didn't have an agent. Uh, oh, well, really, is that the, who is the, this? Just the team leaking all sorts of mean stuff I mean, try about not. how bad of an agent <laughs> Lamar Jackson is. Well, there was a rumor that Daniel Jones was firing his agent. Uh, to hire Lamar Jackson's mom. I did hear that on the show that he was, (laughs) that would be hilarious. I mean, uh, she does have experience repping super hyper athletic quarterbacks. Mm. So that would make sense. All right. Let's see here. If, uh, if Lamar and his mom don't have a Campbell's chunky soup commercial yet, they're not doing it right. Well, I I don't want to ruin your day, Bruni, but I, I can't, I, I I remember where I was when I found out (laughs) that it was, that was not Donovan McNabb's actual mom. And I was devastated. I felt so lied to. Yes. Today's years old. When I just found that out. Yeah. Same here. Oh my God. That's incredulous. They couldn't work (laughs) her in. Now maybe it's a sag. That thing. would she never, never have sag. Probably cost too much. That would <laughs> never happen today. Unreal. Oh, there would be outrage. All right. So what after fraud. after Kramer took Chubb, Alave goes. Well, I love Alave. Serial stole Joe Burrow. Uh, Debo Samuel goes. Uh, Josh Jacobs goes. I took uh, DK Metcalf. 
Then uh, Mark Andrews goes, Ramondre Damn. Stevenson, Travis Etienne, DeAndre Hopkins. Now Andrew Robb on the clock with back to back picks. Hmm. So while you're thinking, can we? Justin Fields has a high, a better uh, average draft position than Lamar Jackson. Is that are we are we all we all feel good about that? Feel great about it. Oh. Feel pretty solid about it. Oh. I mean, yeah, Bruni's going to as a Bears fan. I mean, yeah. he's the offense is only going to get better, and they scored probably more points last year than they I mean, did he, the three years combined. He, he ran for an insane amount of yards. I think that that's partly a product of how bad the team around him was. In fairness, but yeah. well, it's not like he's going to get any slower. You know, going into this. <sighs> I do next like season. him as a runner. I do, and I like that they committed to him finally. They just left. They only let let him hang for a bit. They didn't make him sweat the draft. Well now, yeah, Bruni, what do you want them to do with that? Obviously trade, but what are you what are you looking to get in a trade for the number one pick? I mean, God. I think the Trey Lance trade is like a the, like the big benchmark set. Like that that's the type of people <laughs> that are telling that now, are telling me that I didn't get enough picks for Jalen yeah. Hurts in Dynasty, right? So I think it's really tough to say, like, oh yeah, we have to have three firsts, including, you know, maybe one or two this year. I think that's a tall ask. I think the the Colts have a lot of picks. I think that they would be a good trade partner. Uh, we could move back still later in the top 10. We could still, you know, I, I don't know what they want to do. I don't know if they want to go offense or defense because they have so much money. They can play the market and be really aggressive in the draft. Like, I feel like they can draft guys that they're really high on, uh, you know, out of the NFL draft, and then they can lean on free agency with all the money that they have. It, I think one we're either going to be talking about the bears as an ascending franchise 12 months from now, or we're going to be talking about how horribly they fucked up this year's free agency. And draft. Well, and it, here's the thing though. It is, you mentioned the Trey Lance uh, trade and that is, that's probably a good benchmark, but that must be a really tough sell. Right, if you're like exactly. the bears GM go, Hey, remember the Trey Lance deal? You guys are getting <laughs> Trey Lance and we're just that we want all the picks, but you're going to, you're going to be getting the next Trey Lance. Imagine trying to sell that to someone, uh, but you're right. Like it's going to be <laughs> quite the haul. All right. Catching up on the draft. Oh, we got to scroll back a little bit here. So uh, Gindy team Ramrod took Travis Etienne. Oh, and the, oh, okay. So yeah, we had DeAndre Hopkins, Amari Cooper, uh, Andrew Rob went Amari Cooper, Mike Williams, and then we got uh, Michael Pittman. Justin Fields did go to Gindy there. Uh, DJ Moore, DeAndre Swift. I took Christian Kirk. Just like him in that offense. I don't see his role going anywhere soon. Uh, tra uh, Tony Pollard, uh, Najee Harris, George Kittle, Lamar Jackson off the board. Kramer back on the clock. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of surprised he made it all the way back to me. Um, don't you do it. Mm, yeah, actually, you know what? I'll play ball with you, Bruni. I hopefully they don't shut us down for collusion. You know what? I'll add I'll add a man that obviously just he needs to be on uh, my ownership on Calvin Ridley, I realize needs to be higher than any other player. He's getting reinstated from gambling. Yeah, the guy I was obviously thinking about taking. Shout out to Bruni who got to put his uh, Minnesota stack together. I'll remember this when you're sitting at the end of the the big board sweating out a victory. But yeah, exactly. I mean, uh Alpha oh, receiver is coming along perfectly. Oh, my Kittle goodness. goes. Lamar Jackson. Kramer takes Calvin Ridley. T.J. Hawkinson goes, and Dalvin Cook. So Bruni goes. Hawkinson, Dalvin Cook, rounding out. Are you gonna bother with it, uh, Adam Thiel, a new friend of the show, or? Do you, oh. oh wow, shaking his head. Oh, can't uh, do it. K.J. Can't Osborne, it. maybe. KJ Osborne for sure. Uh, obviously, Kirk Cousins is on my short list. Uh, you guys that take me or take him from me, I'm we're not going to be friends. Um, <laughs> I'm talking to Ramrod like in the chat for sure. Don't 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 do that to me again. Yeah. Kramer goes uh, Terry McLaurin, Christian Watson oh, off the board. Great pick, best pick. I took McLaurin. Wait till Eric right, Bieniemy right, so gets that offense. My debate was <laughs> was 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 London Godwin McLaurin. And I went with Lauren because I, I was just like, oh man, I, I mean, he's been good with shit quarterbacks. Yep. I'm excited for I mean, not excited for the commanders, especially not that mascot that Sean loves. But Terry major, McLaurin, major Tutty, solid mascot. Yeah, major Tutty, man. <laughs> Guys, I have four receivers already, and my build is coming nicely. Thanks for asking. <laughs> so you're going zero zero quarterback as well? 
Well, I, I might have lied about it's it. Like before. Kramer goes out of his way not to draft a high level quarterback. They're just so hard. They go so early. I'm an I'm a boomer sitting in my rocking chair. Like quarterbacks don't go this early. There's no value. But the nice in that. thing is, is that running backs are being available at very friendly yes. uh, ADP, as Andrew mentioned before. Like you yep. know, you're getting really good value. So it it really doesn't like feel that crazy to take a shot at those guys. You know, at uh, top of like you know end of the first, beginning of the second. So Godwin goes, Jerry Judy goes. Uh, I took Jamison Williams. I I just think you know, just mm. even a little bit of flashes we saw him in a dome in that Detroit offense, and I can probably snag golf super late. Sean, remember maybe not super late. We'll for see. all the off season spots, he touched the ball three times. Every single one was like thirty yards. I think it's thirty yards or more. It could even be forty yards or more. The fantasy. I'm sure one of you two know this nugget. I believe well, three, I mean, just pull up his, his player card really yeah, quick. True. There's only like nine touches. <laughs> so <laughs> what do we, Rudy, what do we think about Khalil Herbert? Is this the year? I, I mean, I don't hate grabbing him. I mean, you definitely don't want to reach for him in best ball. I think just, you know, targeting him at his ADP, you know, when he's like, you know, four to five running backs close to coming off the board, but it's really just going to depend on what they do with David Montgomery. Like with all the money that they have, it seems like he could come back because there isn't like a huge market where he's going to get a ton of money and they may wind up paying him. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I feel like even with David Montgomery there, or, you know, if they draft somebody or bring somebody in, whatever, better, right. I think he's going to have a reliable role. I mean, we saw him play alongside Montgomery this year and he was pretty solid. So I, I really don't mind taking him at his ADP right now. There's still a ton of like very good running backs uh, left right yeah. now. It'll, you know, Rashad white, Jamal Williams, Kenny Gainwell, mm -hmm. Khalil Herbert, Miles Sanders, Aaron Jones, Damian Pierce. Like I, I'm kind of glad I'm waiting on, on running back. Uh, Herbert goes, Kyle Pitts goes, Smith in Jigba goes Deontay mm -hmm. Johnson, Trevor Lawrence, Tyler Lockett, uh, Jameer Gibbs goes as well. I'm almost on the clock. What's Maybe your guys take on Gibbs? I like him. Yeah. Yep. Rookie the dynasty back. boys uh, give him a nice little Aaron Jones comp who is yeah. about to come off the board here. So I think that's pretty, pretty solid. Um, Zach Evans is uh, going to be coming up. Oh man. Soon. Why you got to say the name, man? You oh, can't just bad. let, no, you got to let bad. some stuff for later, man. Hold on. Let all me right, quote, right. let me quote Andrew Rob. It, it's called content. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. I knew it was going to come back to bite me. <laughs> oh boy. I, you know, I do hate the bookends cause you just sit and wait. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I took Dallas Goddard complete the, uh, the Eagles stack there. Mike Evans goes, I, Bruni and, and Andrew, what do you, I, I, have we gotten an official take from you guys on Trey Lance? Where are you? Are you part of the, you're in the fantasy community. Wow. Thumbs <laughs> down from Bruni. I feel you like ahead, you, Andrew, I'll you, let you, I'll let you take that one first. Are you, a, are you a Trey Lance guy, uh, Andrew? So I'm not, but I, I do think in the quarterback range that he's going, he's an interesting dart throw. Only if you stack, I don't want anything that I, I yeah. don't want any naked trays. None of that. I, you know, like last year we were talking about naked Lamar was fine, right? Like that, that felt okay. I don't want any naked Trey Lance. Uh, so only if I stack him, am I okay taking him? But outside of that, I, I don't want anything to do with him. So this is this is turned into the tier where I'm taking some running backs because there's a shitload of like nice running backs. Maybe they're coming back from yep. injury. Maybe there's a situational thing, but um, like Aaron Jones in the sixth round. AJ Dillon was going in the sixth round last year. What am I missing? If, if Aaron Rodgers goes away, I think the situation only gets better. They restructured him. There, he's not getting cut or anything crazy like that. Yeah. Traylon Burks, uh, Bur Jacoby Brown, uh, Hollywood Brown, Kirk Cousins goes to Bruni, so he did get his boy, and he also uh, got uh, Jamal Will or no, not uh, not Jamal, Javante, Javante Williams of the Denver Broncos. Walk us through those picks, Bruni. I mean, the Cousins one. I mean, I have the Minnesota Vikings team. Like so I, I, like Cousins, that. Cook. Van Jefferson or Van Jefferson, she's Justin <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> Same guy. I, I've drafted drafted so much Van Jefferson, I can't keep the the, the Jefferson straight. And then T.J. Hawkinson. So, albeit the highest producers, you know, for that team at their positions. So, uh, are you buying into what we just read today? With Javante Williams is back on track for for Week One, or do you think that that's a little smoke right there? Oh, I'll take it. I don't care. Any good news is, is, uh, is news for me. I'll take it. Well, he's I, actually, I, I have a hard time seeing him be ready for week one. Yeah. 
They said it's he's going to uh, he's going to be able to take over Russell Wilson's office. That's what they. That's how much they believe in him. They've given him Russell wow. Wilson's office. That that's story was hilarious. Which, by the way, I don't think we've spoken about it on the show, Sean. Yeah, you're about to be on the clock, but yes. the Russell Wilson asking uh, the ownership group to fire Pete Carroll <laughs> and the GM in Seattle. He never said that. Fucking villain. That's what he says. He says I didn't say that. He, I, I didn't say that. I loved him like a dad. What are you talking about? Oh, Evan Ingram goes scumbag. Fuck. I'm digging George Pickens, man. I, I saw, I saw a lot of flash out of that guy and just some like amazing catches. He's a guy that's just fun you, to watch. You I, took Pickens at seven, seven, which I have to say right now, the way these drafts have been going is a steal because yeah. he's been going ahead of Deontay Johnson and Andrew yeah. took him at two or sorry, six, one at six, one. Yeah. Yeah, his ADP is seventy one, and I taking him at seventy nine. I'll I'll do that all day. Just sharp drafting over here. Just like razor it. sharp. Hey Ryan, uh, speaking yeah. of razor sharp, why don't you become a razor sharp dater? That's right. With Talkify, uh, Talkify <laughs> makes it super easy to find someone. Right? I mean, think about uh, again. Think about how much wasted time and energy you're out there you're chumming around. Again, it was stop wasting your time. Talkify helps you find that perfect match. The number one modern matchmaking service that is designed to help you achieve relationship success. Again, Talkify matchmakers, they meet you, learn about you. Again, maybe you're a zero RB guy. You want to meet a gal who's also <laughs> a zero RB gal. Whatever your thing is, they will figure it out and then they'll screen. They'll do all the heavy lifting. I mean, there's nothing worse than being on a first date and you go, I want to be out of here. How the hell do I get out of here? This is a complete disaster. Talkify is here to help. Uh, 80% of their clients met their person within the first 12 matches. That is a, um, we call that a, uh, what would a GF one, right? Cause if you're uh yeah, like a girlfriend one, right? Similar to the uh, fantasy. Right now, Talkify is offering our listeners 20% off when you become a client at talkify.com slash SGPN. That's T A W K I F Y dot com slash SGPN for 20% off when you become a client. Talkify.com slash SGPN. I'm on the clock. No one told me I was on the clock. I didn't want to screw the read up. Oh, three seconds. Okay. <laughs> I assumed you had a, a cue, a sharp drafter like yourself. I do. Uh -oh. And you I took blew it. Of course you no, did. No, he <laughs> no, I had Miles Sanders in my queue. What he does first thing Sean does before any draft is he just loads up all Eagles into the queue. So worst case he just But yeah, worst case I just end up with another Eagle. Uh before awesome. that, Cam Akers goes a uh, Dak Prescott, Tyler Algier, Gabe Davis, Deshaun Watson, Isaiah Pacheco, Alvin, uh, Alvin Kamara, Jahan Dotson goes to Gindy, Damian Pierce goes. I, I was hoping to get uh, Damian Pierce, and then rookie uh, Jordan Addison. Also Why is Algier board. going? So I mean Addison taking a pay cut. I don't know if you heard going pro this year, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Why, why is Algier going so late? Either I'm either one convinced. of you, fire. Yeah, you're not convinced he's the guy. No, I mean, I mean, th this is a good running back draft class. I mean, they they have some draft capital available. Um, obviously, you know, I know you think that Cordell Patterson's a top five athlete in the NFL. But <laughs> I do top ten player, Wait, even crazy. Yeah, yeah, top ten player, yeah. playmaker. Yes, <laughs> player. You said. <laughs> So uh, yes, yeah, so, I mean I, I'm not convinced he's going to be the guy, um, but I'm assuming the rest of the community feels the same way. Uh, Bernie, how do you uh, how do you see this playing out? Uh, sorry, with who I was staring for, hard for Hot Lana Robinson. With, oh, uh, yeah, Tyler, Tyler Algier. Algier. Uh, I'm I'm not a big buyer, but if it's his job, like I mean, he did okay at the end of last last year, but I have to imagine that they're going to play the market. Oh my God, he was such a hard runner, Sean. What am I missing? <laughs> Charbonnet goes. Cortland Sutton goes to Kramer. Walk us through that pick, Kramer. Oh, I'm just, I mean, just feature on the off chance that Sean Payton does repair the offense. Mm. I, I don't mind Cortland Sutton. Just Bri taking best player available. Sean. Brian Robinson goes and Brandon Cooks goes to Bruni. Bruni, where do you think Brandon Cooks ends up? Because it seems like he he wants out of the Texans. Uh, we talked about this uh, on one of our shows, Andrew. I think I had, yep. who did I have down? Cleveland and. You know, maybe like a top type of contender. I feel like he's doing well with uh, with Watson. I think he fits really well with Kansas City. Wow, I think like everybody fits in well with him. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, Juju. Juju didn't really. He, he didn't work out. So I mean, well. he he oh. was fine in the Super Bowl. Just ask Sean. <laughs> well, oh, that's all. Oh, damn. 
See, Bears fans. Bastards. This is why. This is why I went after him so. Uh, yeah, three and fourteen. I'm hearing you, Kramer. Dumb Kramer, Bears. you you've talked so much shit against the, the Chicago Bears, and yet you're drafting. You drafted Khalil. I'm Herbert. a value based drafter. It's the ninth round. Stole me right. He's, took he, him right out of my queue. And now I have four. I I went from zero RB to having four running backs already. So I now I don't even I know. Love it when that happens. I, I I and I once again I lied. I didn't take a quarterback, so I'll be. Uh, I'll be dipping around the, the the shit box looking for a quarterback. <laughs> After Khalil Herbert, James Cook, Alan Lazard, Darren Waller. I'm not taking Trey Lance. Dalton this time Schultz. Either. I'm going uh I'm going Rashad White. I, I think I like there's it. now I know it was kind of weird where he said, like, I don't <laughs> want the entire RB1 workload or so I, you guys probably know the exact quote. That was certainly um someone was projecting uh, him have, to have a huge year <laughs> and he said, Whoa. I might not be ready for that kind of workload. Yeah, that's. A I, th- I think they were talking about him averaging like 20 touches a game, and then he said that about I don't know if I can handle that kind of workload. Like, what do you mean you can't handle it? <laughs> You're in the Come NFL. On. Handle yeah. it, damn it. Yeah, say yes. Don't never say no. Well, they said today that it's likely Fournette's going to get cut, and you know the writing. Oh yeah, he already. There. Yeah, it just it uh, broke. I think right before we taped that Fournette did get cut. Oh, so rest nice. in peace, playoff Lenny. <laughs> Although he could pop back up somewhere else. I've been saying the same thing. Like this is someone who still caught 70 passes last season. Like in, in this pass first type of NFL, like if someone's not using him that way, that's their problem. Not ours. Yeah, no, he's an interesting, he's 28. So it's not like he's completely cooked. He can um, block and he can catch. You might be able to figure out how to use a guy like that. Yeah. D- depending on where he lands, he's, he's, he's going to land in Kansas city. Uh, breaking <laughs> news. Zeke Elliott has not been drafted. Yes. Nice work team. <laughs> We just have to drive his ADP down all the way to the bottom. Fryermuth goes. Donovan Peoples Jones goes. Uh, David Montgomery, Zay Flowers, rookie Zay Flowers, just put on thirteen pounds of you see pure, that? It was pure like, muscle. Mass. Like one of those uh, weight loss substances where they like Photoshop <laughs> you before and after pictures, like from the after picture. Uh, Zay, it, it, my favorite part is he was smiling in the in the swole picture. Canarius Tony goes. Zay Flowers might be the best receiver in the draft from the get. Oh, damn. Like early take. fantasy production. Cause whoever drafts him is going to have a plan for him. Cause he's, uh, he's not quite a gadget, but he's, he's like a golden take kite type guy. Uh, Tyler Boyd goes, Kadarius Tony goes, Trey Lance goes, and I draft oh, Jared no. Goff, oh, wow. the Island himself. You got to sell, give me ownership, <laughs> right? Sign over the ownership to me right now. It's is looking this beautiful be like here on Jared Goff sucks Island. It's going to be like Tua. Is this going to be like, you're going to be a lions guy this year. You're going to be on the overs. <laughs> oh my God. No, I mean, but hard not to like that offense, Don't just, lie to me. especially if their defense is going to be a shitty. Now maybe their defense is a little bit better and that kills them. But how many quarterbacks do you have Sean? I have two. Wow. Damn. All right. Jalen hurts. Jared Goff. That's all I need. I still have zero. And then I, I now I can just draft running backs and receivers, get some sweet late Detroit stacks in here. Oh, Kramer, he's still sitting there for you. You staring at him? You gonna do it, Mr. Twelve Bathrooms? He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> Has been drafted. Kyler Murray goes in the tenth round by cereal. I, I don't see that, Ooh. man. I don't know if he plays this cereal. Year. Cereal. Why? That's not a good pick. So cereal. <laughs> Cereal's a Cowboys fan. I don't I I mean I get it from a best ball stand up, maybe, but I don't know. It's best ball. Give me the best deep ball receiver in the draft. Oh, Hyatt. Someone's been watching some tape. <laughs> <laughs> tape grinder over here. Can't decide. Playing chess over here, Bruni. Bruni, I think I see Michael Thomas coming up, right? Yeah. I, I'm get, let's, I will, let's do it. I let's will play. <laughs> I oh play. my God! Wow! <laughs> you take Michael Thomas. Walk us, walk us through choosing to draft Michael Thomas. He's gonna get, he's gonna get cut. He's not coming back to the Saints. Uh, if he's not healthy at this point, like th- that'll be it. It might be a waste of a pick if he just doesn't play. But it sounds like he's gonna play this season. Uh, there are gonna be many, many suitors. Many, many suitors. You think so? Hmm. Uh, he's pretty, apparently he's been uh, trying to suck up to the training staff uh, with the Kansas city chiefs. He like commented on some post of theirs about, I was like, Oh, shout out to our trainers and our physical therapists and that. And 
of all people, Michael Thomas commented on the photo and was like, oh, man, here you guys are so great. I was talking to Kelsey about my ankle and this and that. I was like, that's such that's an what... odd tweet. Like, what the hell? Like, that feels very Russell Wilson like. He seems like legit I'll take crazy. It. I he he is my highest exposed receiver at this ADP. Like, if he yeah, gets what could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a cheap price, which is fair. It's, it's that, super that is cheap. But you know who my uh, my third highest exposed quarterback is? Who is it? Carson Wentz. Oh no! Oh, oh God! He wasn't. Do you get points even... for the XFL? <laughs> no, that's Ben DiNucci. You're you're mixing up your oh, yeah. so on your way out the door quarterback. DiNucci, wrong shitty quarterback. <laughs> yeah. No, Wentz was getting undrafted. He wasn't even being drafted. Period. Like he's still going to be a starter. Like getting him in round twenty. Mm-hmm. Like that's free money. I'm sorry. What team picks him up? The best ability is available. I don't know. I heard the Colts need a quarterback. Oh man! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it was Frank Reich's fault, I hear, not Carson Wentz. I don't know about all that. I mean, Ra- his, Ra- his stats, his stats when he was with the Colts were good for fantasy. I mean, Josh McDaniels would be a fun pairing with Carson Wentz. <clears throat> the answer is, is, I really don't care where where he goes. Um, he's going to be a starter week one. Most oh, I love this. I love this angle, Sean. You're on the clock. Thirteen seconds to go. Oh my goodness. Zay Jeez. Jones goes. You, you, Kareem Hunt. Geno Smith. I take Kenny Gainwell. So I just, got oh. got Miles Sanders and Kenny Gainwell. What are we doing? <laughs> I well, I I think there's a decent chance Miles Sanders ends up somewhere else. So just betting on talent here. Got it. That makes sense. Dolchich uh, goes. Greg Dolchich, uh, tight end for the Broncos. Elijah Moore. Zeke Elliott finally goes. Kramer, let me ask you this: Who's more likely to join the Broncos this offseason, Michael Thomas or Taysom Hill? Oh, uh, Taysom Hill's contract makes that difficult, actually, from what I understand. So I, yeah, I mean, if if the theory about him being a weirdo in the same way that Russell Wilson's a weirdo, and maybe Michael Thomas doesn't hold Sean Payton accountable for the stuff that he holds the franchise accountable for, yeah, I don't know. I certainly. I'm intrigued to see because I, I don't does Denver even have that much flexibility? I'm intrigued to see what's gonna happen, period. But I mean, I, now as someone who has Russell Wilson and Cortland <clears> Sutton <throat> in a stack, I guess I'm also interested in what kind of late round <laughs> bullets I should be throwing in here to pair with it. I can tell you this, I, I I and I'll I'll mention it when I draft the guy here in a little bit, but I definitely feel like visually I watched something that gave me an inside Iggy on what could be next year. In fact, I'm going to do some research on this before I say it out loud. All right, where are we at, uh, Sean? You got to warn me when it's my pick. I'm not. Wondell like Robinson, Aaron Rodgers, Zeke goes. They're all off the board. Uh, and Andrew was the one who took Wondell Robinson. Interesting. Uh, Why is that interesting? I mean, <laughs> in, in, uh, it's the biggest compliment I could pay. Interesting. He goes Wandale Robinson and I Isaiah Hodgins. Is he cornering the uh, Giants' offense? That's, I mean that you're that's that's a nice nice strategy. Although they're going to bring some guys in. They're going to bring some. And guys. Andrew Rob, I I feel like we we forgot to mention you're also drafted Deshaun Watson. Wow. What did you what did yeah. you see out of Deshaun Watson last year that made you makes you want to draft him from fan in, in, in a in a uh, fantasy sense here. Uh, I mean, honestly, not, not a whole hell of a lot, but I, I, I like his ADP for, for a guy who can run around. Um, and obviously he has nice stacking potential throughout the draft. You know, he, there's, you know, a, a good section of, of draft capital here that you don't really have to spend up to get him. I mean, I have Amari Cooper and Donovan people's Jones as well. So you don't have to spend a whole lot to be able to stack with him. But you know, I, I, I can uh, appreciate a man that likes a good rub down as well. So, I mean, you know, if you never got a massage, you you definitely should. I can see why you got like four a day. I, I well now they have to be now they have to be team supervised. The massages. problem is when you find that when you find the good one, you don't you don't you don't go find other good ones unless true. something else is going on. All right, uh, Boutte goes off the board. <laughs> Booty? No, no, you got it right. It's just funny to hear you. Bryce say it. Young, and I went uh, with the fastest guy in the draft, Devin Akane, uh rookie uh, wow. running back out of Texas A and M. We'll see where he ends up, but um, that could be a fun. I mean, if he ends up on a, uh, I don't even know, not even a great offense, you could see him getting like four touchdowns or. Couple of big games, he breaks a uh, breaks a couple, or maybe even special teams. Honestly, 
the right. uh, the fastest uh, running back uh, crown, you know, probably about to change here with the forties coming up. Yeah, who do you? I thought from what I read, and I haven't dug that deep yet, but a cane is like odds on favorite to be the fastest guy, right? Or yeah, I mean, I'm uh, odds on. Like if you're like you know betting on the combine, I don't, I don't hold it against you. Uh, Hashtag Dejan's yes, only. I'll be Kramer I'll Kramer be. went uh, Romeo Dubs. You, you gonna be? Uh, are you gonna stack with Jordan Love? Do you have a quarterback yet, Ryan? Nope. Wow. So let's take a look at quarterbacks available for Ryan. Matty Stafford, Kenny Pickett, CJ Stroud. Oh no, I have a quarterback. Sorry. Oh, you do. Who do you have? Russell Wilson. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so you still need a quarterback. Two back to back quarterbacks, Bruni. So Bruni, Bruni we're playing, we're goes playing hardball today. Bruni goes Derek Carr, Matty Stafford. Where's the dream destination for Derek Carr fantasy wise? Would you say the Jets? I've been saying the Falcons. I, I, I need somebody to let loose for uh, Kyle Pitts. Oh yeah, open up that offense. Oh uh, no, Lamar's going there. Hey, by all means, go ahead. I mean, <laughs> like the Jets would be a good spot for him. Obviously, like we like Garrett Wilson a lot. I know Rob, you're a big fan of Elijah Moore. I'm not so high on him, but. I mean, there's a lot of good landing spots. Kramer, can you scroll I like up the on Falcons. the boards? I, I think that they could really build around them. Use that eighth pick for maybe, uh, you know, one of those high end, uh, you know, position players if they want to get aggressive. I, I feel like that's the move. Raheem Moster, Sean Tucker, Alec Pierce also off the board. Kramer won Alec Pierce. What do you think like the uh, Colts end up doing with the quarterback? I don't know. I'm, I'm, that's part of what this is about, giving myself a setup. To potentially taking one of these, I was surprised. You know, Kenny Pickett's still out there. I was surprised you weren't targeting that as a nice little stack, Sean. Um, maybe you will. Um, but I, I, I kind of think the Colts getting. I mean, the Colts are a team that I think are going to end up with a rookie, and I think the rookie is going to play a lot. So, you know, getting that as a garbage late round stack is interesting to me. I just uh, drafted Damian Harris. Oh, int- yeah, he's interesting too because. Uh, when, whenever like the uh, w- w- first of all he, is he he's not under contract right so he's he's a, yeah, free, he's agent. a free agent I mean you're all, the the worst thing that can happen for you is he gets signed by a Belichick disciple otherwise or sorry the best thing for you the worst thing is that he goes somewhere else and gets gets lost in a in a committee oh Madison what happened Bruni you didn't get uh couldn't completely Alexander corner Madison, he's a free the agent. He's probably walking. Yeah, Alexander Madison, Chase Claypool, uh, goes to Gindy, Rondale Moore, DJ Chark. Oh, I was supposed to draft DJ Chark. I forgot about that. What's your take he's on Claypool as a Bears fan, Bruni? On what with the first pick? No, Claypool. What's your what's your oh, take on, on him Chase as a Bears Claypool? Fan? I mean, yeah. they they still need another guy. Like if they go out and they get, you know, like a DeAndre Hopkins or a Keenan Allen or I'm I'm trying to think of some other big like a Mike Evans like that would be great where he could play like second fiddle to a one a receiver but if he's you know coming into the season and he's our like big possession threat like down the field like it's it's not going to happen he's not going to turn into AJ Brown overnight Justin Fields may continue to con- you know morph into Jalen Hurts but Chase Claypool ain't turning into AJ Brown tomorrow that's for sure yeah. I it it'll be interesting to see because in some way I kind of think the one thing that Justin Fields could learn how to do well is be Russell Wilson and chuck it deep and like give your receivers a chance. I mean Mooney's a good in the, like Mooney adjusts really nicely to the ball in the air. Mm-hmm. Uh, in yep. theory, Claypool like should that should be something he's good at. Although it's it scares me when the Steelers get rid of a receiver. It makes me think there's there's some baggage there. That's true. I didn't really partic- I didn't particularly like what we gave up for him, but it's a lot. Know, it is yeah. what it is. We've got a lot of cap. Again, as long as they just do their job and they, you know, bring in someone that's better than him, you know, skill set wise, like it, it should be fine. It should work itself out. I just took uh, Leonard Fournette. Love it. Love I it. mean, again, he could end up on a decent team, and and to your point, uh, Bruni earlier about someone that's going to use him in the pass catching role. Like, yeah, I'm all in. Let's go. He's my fourth highest uh, exposed running back, so I love it. Who do you think? Who do you think the Colts end up with quarterback wise? If you had a bet right now, I I feel like they could go shopping for a bridge quarterback, uh, maybe like a Gardner Minshew, and then you know draft. they're just going to see if they get Stroud or, or Bryce Young. That's it. Yeah, I think they're. I don't think they're in the market for like Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr. I think no, they're going no. young. I think it, they've had enough of these uh, veteran quarterbacks. I think they're ready to get in a C.J. Stroud. 
So if you well, think they're in a position to move up the board, you know, so I, I feel like that's what they should be be doing is, is trying to build up uh, their youth. They wouldn't have to spend so much if they just waited and took Anthony Richardson. Uh, he yeah. might, he might just be. You mean number trash. one overall, Anthony Richardson? Yeah, right. All right let's, <laughs> well, he's let's... sounding more like number two behind Stroud right now with the uh, the Bryce Young height complaints. Because they're saying he's Whoa. actually five ten. So we we got Cr- some uh, Kramer. Anthony Richardson just drafted, and then Sam Howe drafted in Whoa. a fantasy. Eric Bieniemy, baby, that is stacked that is, with that Terry McLaurin. Yeah, I mean, he, Mahomes is nothing without Eric Bieniemy. That's, He's been that's... moving up the board. He's one of the top five uh, most, um, uh, what the hell you want to call it, like ADP riser. Who's uh, that? Sam Howe. Yeah. Who well, may like, not now makes, be the it, starter? It no. makes sense. You know, he he. The reports were that the when inter like the the interview process included making sure Eric Bieniemy was okay, like was was understanding that Sam Howell was going to be the quarterback, which seemed like an odd thing to really report. Dirty, but I got to do it. Oh wow! Oh boo! Sorry, bud. Boo! I mean, given and what else is right there, like I mean, I might as well just shore it up for an injury. I did it, guys. So Mike Gusecki goes, <laughs> and Adam Thielen goes to Bruni, friend of the program. Adam Thielen, yeah. and then Kramer drafting C.J. Stroud. You know, this isn't a dynasty draft, Ryan. This is a this is a best ball <laughs> so draft. You're Russ, aware of that? Russ, Sam, and C.J. and they're all going to be stacked. <laughs> Name me a better quarterback Sean. room than Russ. <laughs> we talked about this. My the the team that I cat like that went the furthest in underdog last year. It was a team with shit quarterbacks. It was Kirk Cousins, it was Dan Jones, and it was Jared Goff. Those were all late round quarterbacks. Kirk Cousins is bad. He scored like three hundred points. Did you just admit Dan season. Jones is a shit quarterback? No, yeah. no. I, I also caught that per per the ADP. <laughs> late round. All right, relax, uh, people. Uh, and by the way, Dan, Dan I got, Jones I got attacked on Twitter this week when I made the comment about you know translation. He realized nobody wanted to give him forty five million dollars, and uh, oh, right, Giants yeah. Twitter was all over me. I will address the news again. Clearly, a, a bunch of you motherfuckers like to read the tabloids with your wives, and you saw that news that got leaked by his his bitter ex agents. He never asked for that much. He won't be getting signed for that much. They have a franchise tag. Obviously, we all know how the con- the salary cap and contracts in the National Football League. I won't explain it, but it's they will not scheme. be paying him forty five million. But nice. I, I appreciate the Twitter verse for coming after you for your fake news. I just drafted a, <laughs> I, I just drafted Jarek McKinnon, which Whoa. I mean, do we remember Whoa. that crazy run he went on, uh getting those touchdown passes? Like I, I don't know. In the fifteenth. Is he round, still gonna be with Kansas City though, I think is the question. He's that's, is, that's the big factor. He's yeah. a well and he would you know, a great destination for him would be Kansas City. That that's our exactly. bit this <laughs> offseason, Sean. Every everyone's going to Kansas City. <laughs> Well, no one's going to use him like that. Like no one's going to be that ag- aggressive with his usage and potential production on the field. Like uh, stay with Andy Reid McKinnon. Like com- come on. Like he, don't be silly. He could uh, I've heard uh, there's like tiny bits of little like I'm trying to start a fire smoke uh, about him coming to the Giants. I mean, <laughs> is he going to score 10 touchdowns in like no. 4 weeks with the Giants though? I mean, we'll see if Saquon comes back. <laughs> Saquon or no Saquon? I mean, I'm, I'm not going to, I'll speak sternly to Saquon. He doesn't have much leverage either, but the wow. leverage, the leverage is stronger. If fucking Dan Jones will sign the goddamn contract already. Cause once the, once the franchise tag can move to, to Saquon, then he's, he's out of leverage and he'll, mm-hmm. he'll, he'll agree to some three year, like just above the franchise tag type deal. It's <laughs> coming to the bears. Uh, I've heard, I've heard a lot. I've heard that from a lot of bears fans. It seems like the bears fans want him. Yeah, we do. I mean, the Bears could go out and realistically get Hopkins, Barkley, and Hargrave if they really wanted to. They have so much cap space available. Yeah, the, but or the problem is a hundred million dollars. You can't, you can't do like when you do that, it never works out. You can't make all big splashy signings. You got to be smart. And well, they don't all have to be, but we need to make one or two for sure. Defensive lineman is where I would be. Right, you just play Moneyball, man. Oh, well, defensive lineman. They're talking about drafting this Will Anderson guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Andrew Robb pulling right from my cue. Samaj P. Ryan, wow. Trey McBride. Where does P. Ryan end up? It's a good question. Well, no, he he no, stays put. Yeah. You did so? you hear of uh, Duke Tobin on the airwaves today? No, I did not. Uh, head of player personnel was saying that T. Higgins talk about him being traded is just like really Bullshit. silly at this point. Yeah. But when asked if Joe Mixon would be back, he said, I don't know. 
Well, it sounds like Mixon's going to get gold. cut. Yeah, it sounds like, but P Ryan's a free agent too, so they would have to bring him back, I believe. I think they would they would get him in a very friendly deal. Yeah, I, I mean, I like P Ryan. He he's a, I mean, he sports a really nice beard. He he's a savage. <laughs> I mean, he he was better than Mixon in their in their like second half of their season this year when he would come on in limited time. No, he was solid, and I think that that was just a product of their offense, right? Like they're. It's always vertical. You always have to account for those big receivers. Like I, it just opens things up. All right. So what are we doing here? We're at the, we're at the part of the draft where nothing fucking matters. Excuse me. Wow. Ryan, this is when it Jeez. all matters. This is where shit's won, man. All right. Well, we're on, we're talking running backs. Is it Devo- Deontay Foreman or is it, is, is he coming back to the Panthers? I saw that they want to bring him back. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like he's going to be coming back. Yep. But it also sounds like they're going to have a pretty diverse uh, run game. Like they're going, Chaba is going to get his touches. Foreman's going to get his touches. They've even mentioned bringing in a, another guy. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. You got uh, Kramer, you're on the clock. What do you, don't you tell available. him? Don't you tell I was him? Gonna, I was right just going to say it. I'm like, oh, bro, I knew running back. And, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Uh, unreal. And here goes Michael Carter. Yep. There comes Michael Carter, right after. <laughs> oh, I was just, yeah, I was looking at him, but I was like, I won't do that to Justin. This is. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Michael Carter is my highest exposed running back. This is, this will make nine out of uh, seventeen. Who's the starting running? Wrong. Who's the starting running back in Denver? Uh, Javante Williams. Well, he, assume he doesn't. He's not one hundred percent. Miles oh. Sanders. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh shit. Is is uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I, 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 I watched seen, uh, the other night that uh, I, I watched the Miles way Sanders. that I watched the way it's, Latavius, it's Latavius Murray, right? I watched the way Latavius yeah. Murray and Sean Payne interacted with, with <laughs> each other, with, with each other on the set of the Pat McAfee show yes. at inside info radio row. They're clearly boys and Lat- a Latavius Murray is a fucking big motherfucker. And, I, uh, and two, like him and Sean Payne are very clearly like friendly. Like there's a hundred percent chance Latavius Murray is going to be on this team next year. And he's the, probably going to be the goal line. The back. other guys are Chase Edmonds, Tyler Batty, and Mike Boone. No, oh, no. I'm not going to be there. Although Batty, I, I was, I was, uh, I was keeping an eye on Batty last year because, of course, he was part of the Ravens running back room, which you know I love. We didn't talk about it earlier. I do have J.K. Dobbins on this team, Sean. <laughs> I I can't How remember does. what year it was. I want to say it was like, I want to say it was 2013 or 2014, but. I attended Eastern Illinois and Sean Payton came to oh, like wow. our, I don't know if it was our homecoming game or our first game of the year, but anyways, I wound up like walking by him and I shake his hand and I said, Hey man, make sure to get Ted Ginn jr. The ball that dude needs to eat, you know, like make sure you get him some touches for me. I got him in fantasy. And he said almost verbatim him and breeze are boys. Yeah. Nice. That season sucked. Yeah. <laughs> I will yeah. tell you though that were, were you there when the Romo was there? The season that year. Were you there when Romo was there? Uh, no, not when Romo was there. He was well ahead of me. Yeah. Heard any? Wise. Hear any horrible stories about him? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he donated a bunch of money, oh. but he's just kind of a prick to the school. Like, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> he's he's not like like Sean Payton. Like he's with like the the students, like you know, talking to some girls, you know, mixing it up a little <laughs> bit, talking to some out, girls, having having a, having a few <laughs> drinks. Oh yeah, Urban yeah, Meyer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, definitely urban Meyer vibes for sure is what I was seeing. <laughs> Tony though. He's more like the, you know, the superstar, like, you know, yeah. keep him off to the side <laughs> velvet red rope, you know, like not so accessible. And that That's was when he was funny. playing. So Craver, it would be scroll, worse now, scroll down on your, uh, your draft thing. Oh my God. You guys are needy, but I was there when Jimmy Garoppolo graduated. So I, oh. I, I, I was there for that. That was fantastic. You Andrew- were very close to good looks. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew- he was close to, he was close to mine. That's where he got him. But <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Rob, Rob steal my cue taking uh, Khalil Uh-oh. Shakir. Oh man. Sorry. Great minds think alike. There you go. You he Rob- also got a, a rookie as well. You got uh McBride here. Give us a, give us a rookie profile on McBride. Why are you, why are you taking him here? D Wayne McBride. Uh, yeah. Again, shout out. I, I feel like I do this every single podcast, like the last like five times, but shout out to, to Brad and Dave, you know, they do these little shorts about all the rookies and just some of the things they, they say about McBride, you know, get, gets me excited about a guy that he's probably not going to be a starter anywhere, but he can be a contributor. Um, and you know, to take him this late in a draft, uh, you know, it seems, seems like it's a good value. You know, there's not a lot of guys here that I feel really strongly about though. I do like Pierre strong who's still left on the board. Sorry, Kramer, if that, uh, fucks it up again for you, no, but, cool. um, yeah, just McBride. Plus I think it's cool. I got Trey McBride and Dwayne McBride. So this oh. is the McBride team. 
Sean, du- Dwayne McBride named after Dwayne Wade. Of course. Really? Oh, I don't. <laughs> well, yeah, you never know. <laughs> it's D E Wayne. Uh, D I, Wayne. I just took Greg Dorch. I mean, Greg Dorch had 52 oh, wow. catches. What if they lose? DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, no, when they lose, they that he. Oh, who took Jelani Woods? Son of a bitch! Jelani Woods also my cue. I got C.J. Stroud. That was the stack. Terrible. Motherfuck. It's all. Van Jefferson start, goes. Start Greg, over. Greg. <laughs> Greg Dorch. I think getting him this late. Isaiah likely also gone. Kramer, how many tight ends do you have? Just one. Damn. I mean, Kramer. No offense, sitting right there for yeah, you. I mean, that's, no, a, that's a great tight end pick. Now I have to take him. Annoying. Yeah, that's a great pick. Sometimes it helps to wait to the end. I mean, why is Hunter Henry still there? Did someone take Van Jefferson? No. Yes, oh. he's been drafted. What the sick? I'm pretty sure. Oh no, you got to draft somebody else. I know it's terrible. <laughs> I was trying to get my poor man's stack though. I mean, I, I, oh, I grabbed yeah. uh, Stafford, so I was fine there. He just went. The the late kind of- rounds have not been good to me with getting snaked by these fucking slippery motherfuckers in this draft. Tyler Conklin slippery selected. Man. By uh, Justin Bruni, Kramer selects Noah Fant. I didn't like that pick, for the record. Mm. Let's see, what else can we do here? Going Matt Collins. I think Hunter Renfro's a cap casualty. <clears throat> oh, took took Sean's guy, Matt Collins. <sighs> Let's he's, go. He's, he's still riding dude. his bike. Yeah, him and Aaron <laughs> Rodgers are going to be best friends. All right, you know what? We do this every cool. year, Sean. We we have to whenever we talk about doing anything with the Broncos, we talk about KJ Hamler. This is the KJ Hamler <laughs> year. I know it. And so every year, nineteenth round, uh, Russ is my quarterback. Maybe this will be the year he plays. This is his last year, so, right? Fourth year. <laughs> he's uh he's uh, inching yeah. into like Paris Campbell territory, where it's just like you're just like a sleeping monster, and you're just kind of just waiting for it to wake up, and you know produce. Yeah, for this is the fourth year of his rookie deal. Um probably not going to get that f- that fifth year option. No, he, he just kidding. Uh yeah, I mean, this is a contract year, so I guess that's the angle. Yep. Got to stay healthy so, this year, bro. So let me ask you guys, Bruni and I have a bet for week 1. Is Marcus Mariota a starter on a team? He has to actually be the starter on a team. Does that happen week 1? No, he's going to be backing up the Eagles. You think he's getting signed by the Eagles to be the backup? If he goes to the Eagles, he's just going to start. That just means yeah, he's just going to start riding the bench. He just cursed. I I would, I would probably take the side that he. I mean, he's probably a very appealing backup. Uh, Wait, me not knowing why he decided to just leave the team at the end of last year. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't know about the good teammate vibes from that, but other than that, it seems like he'd be a perfect backup for a lot of situations with you know mobile quarter like. like I am uh, technically one and zero to this bet. I made this same bet last year before free agency. So. Yeah, oh, I, you're gonna be one and one. So what hey, team? Where do you think? Where do you think he goes, Bruni? Oh, I mean, there's plenty of places. Last year, I said Carolina. That that door still feels open. I just feel like there's gonna be teams that get really aggressive in the quarterback market. You go shopping for these big names, and you wind up having to come back with garbage. Like that's just what it, what happens you, sometimes. Were you kidding last night on our draft when you said maybe he goes back to Tennessee? I mean, I don't. If he goes back to Tennessee, he's a backup. But today, Tennessee was saying loud and clear, like, "Oh, Ryan Tannehill's our guy." Like, that's that's a bunch of BS. That's a bunch of. Coach I, talk. It doesn't seem like he's going to be their guy, but yeah, I don't know. That's a bunch of coach talk. But no, it would. I was yeah, I was being facetious when I mentioned uh, the the Titans because we. Who was the other one that we said we could go back home? Um, who was the other guy that we were talking about? We said, "Oh yeah, Mariota, Mariota could go back to the Titans, and yada yada could go back to the oh, oh. Geno Smith back to the Jets." Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> what? That'd be nuts. That'd be crazy. That would be a Jet move right there. <laughs> but go again, out. like you go shopping for Aaron Rodgers. How the hell did we come home with Geno Smith? Yeah, I, I don't know what the Jets are. I mean, the fact that Hackett is a coach again is. <laughs> beyond my uh, level of understanding. I love what he did with uh, Denver last year. What what do we got to do to get him in the building? Yeah, br- come move on. heaven and earth to bring me Nathaniel Hackett. All right. So, my team, Sean, I got three quarterbacks, five running backs, nine receivers, two tight ends. Feels kind of optimal. I saw a lot of team uh, you guys can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there are a lot of teams that went deep into best ball tournaments without a tight end. I do feel like there were some like yeah. skinny tight end builds that did fine, even with 
two tight ends that ended up being hurt or not really producing. They drafted Travis Kelsey first though. Well, that that's the thing, right? Like you had the teams with Travis Kelsey and then you had everyone else and there were so so many bad tight ends that you probably could could have gotten by with very little yes. production there. So rattle off your team, Ryan. Well, do I so my I pick in two picks. Do I oh. do I have to take one more tight end or is two enough? The two are Noah Fant and Albert but, O. <laughs> former teammates. Hey. Uh, for four twenty rounds, the stats do point to you wanting to have three tight ends. Fuck. Yeah. That, if that, you're a stat sheet guy, you know, hey, Jake Ferguson's still there. Oh, oh no, is, he is Logan Thomas going to be a guy for the the man? Rest? Honestly, I, I I want him to be, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right. Did someone draft Ben Skoranek. Uh, it wasn't me. I swear. I'm going to take no, Noah Gray him. and cross my fingers that Travis Kelsey gets hurt this year. Damn, right. man. Come on. <laughs> don't don't put that in the universe. Damn. Oh, I mean, I'm not I don't I'm not a man of prayer, but uh, you know, it would help this team, this ten dollar entry. <laughs> All right, here's my <laughs> team. Jalen Hurts, Jared Goff at the running back position. I got Miles Sanders, Rashad White, Kenny Gainwell, uh, Devin Kane, Damian Harris, Leonard Fournette, Jarek McKinnon, Pierre Strong, receivers, AJ Brown, DK Metcalf, Christian Kirk, Jamison Williams, George Pickens, Rashid Shahid. Greg Dorch, and then tight end room: Dallas Goddard, Jawan Johnson, and Brock Wright. Nice, Bruni. What do you got? I'm still trying to pull mine back up. Uh, Andrew, you go ahead of me. Yeah. Uh, so I got quarterbacks: Justin Herber and Deshaun Watson. Running backs: Saquon Barkley, Isaiah Pacheco, Tajay Spears, Samaje Pirine, Dwayne mm. McBride, Kieran Williams. Wide receivers, Amra St. Brown, Amari Cooper, Mike Williams, Deontay Johnson, Donovan Peoples Jones, Wandale Robinson, Isaiah Hodgins, Khalil Shakir, and Marvin Mims. Tight ends, shout out Penn State, Pat Fryermuth, Gerald Everett, Let's go. Trey McBride. Dog. I heard a decent should... amount of Giants there. <laughs> yeah, that Great. is that is troubling. That is that is uh, could be your downside or downfall. <laughs> Kramer, what do you got? All right, we got this is honestly, I don't know if I'll have a more eclectic group of quarterbacks all off season. Russell Wilson, Sam Howell, CJ Stroud. A little <laughs> eclectic bit eclectic is the best adjective so, you could give them. Something for everyone there. Nick Chubb, Shadow Aaron Jones, JK Dobbins, Khalil Herbert, and Latavius Murray is my running back room. Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Calvin Ridley, Tara McLaurin, Cortland Sutton, Jalen Hyatt, Romeo Dobbs, Alec Pierce, and KJ Hamler. A lot of alphas in that room. And then this is what's going to make my team different. Albert O, Noah Fant, and Noah Gray. Double Noahs. Let's go. Double Noahs. Oh, Ryan, what Wait. grade uh, cereals in the chat? If you want to give him a grade, what do you? Well, what hold on. Justin, did you did you give oh, us yeah, your team? Yeah, yeah, I'll go through mine. I'll go through mine really quick here. So starting off with the Kirk Cousins pick to set up the Vikings team yeah. build, and then Derek Carr, Matthew Stafford. We've got Brees Hall, Dalvin Cook again with the Vikings team build, Javante Williams. Brian Robinson, Shubba Hubbard, Michael Carter to stack with Brees Hall, Justin Jefferson, again, a part of the Vikings team build, Devonta Smith, Brandon Cooks, Michael Thomas, Joshua Palmer, Adam Thielen, again, Vikings team build, Matt Collins, Ben Skoranek with a cheap man, poor man mm. stack with uh, Matthew Stafford, uh, TJ Hawkinson, again, with that Vikings uh, team build stack, and then Mike Isecki and Tyler Conklin. I, I do like the Rams. Uh, Rams are very discounted team to stack so up. Yeah. So, which one of you guys want to roast cereal and yeah, uh, team Ramrods? I, got it. I team? got it right here. So, uh, cereal first. He's got a build. He picked picked out of the four spot, Sean. Okay. He's got three three quarterbacks, five running backs, eight wide receivers, four tight ends. Might have might, already looking bad without even me seeing the roster. Then I scroll down and I see Joe Burrow. So you took Joe Burrow from me, even though I was never going to get him. So that's demerit. Kyler Murray, three demerits. Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> uh oh. Do we have a starting quarterback on the team? <laughs> I guess Joe Burrow has to stay healthy. Christian McCaffrey, <laughs> Kenneth Walker, Joe Mixon, Jamal Williams, Raheem Mostert. Don't hate this one, uh, Sean. You know we were a Jamal Williams podcast. Oh, I love that. Uh, anyone that get, gets kicked, what was he? He got kicked out of school for too much sex? BYU. Or, yeah. yeah. He's one of those guys gotta, who will get penetration. Sex, sex with the sheet on uh, <laughs> up there in Utah. He he was not keeping the sheet on, as we've seen well, from those soda. from those celebration dances. Speaking of which, you see that chubby kid chug that soda. Oh, he slammed Dog. that thing. That I mean, first of all, as someone who drinks a lot of Lacroix, 
it's a, it's impressive to pound that much carbonation. I do worry about his future, Christian. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I I don't have any. Uh, don't love the Joe Mixon pick. The rest of the running backs, whatever. Not the worst thing in the world. I'm still bitter though. You took Joe Burrow from me. Next up, you, the highest paid wide receiver free agent, Jacoby Myers with Juju, another free agent, Alan Lazard, not a free agent, or maybe he is actually. He is. Zay Zay Jones, uh, Curtis, a lot of free agents. Curtis Shamel, Nico Collins, Darius Slayton, free agent, uh, Josh Reynolds. I would say uh, weak, weak in the not enough receivers. You went you went too early with with the wrong stuff here. And then George Kittle, Hayden Hurst, Zach Ertz, Robert Tunyon. Don't hate your tight end room. Probably uh, soft in the receiver room. That would be my feedback. Who's the other one that's getting judged? T- team Ramrod. All right, Indy. Uh, hopefully you're, you're your fearless general post or general picture guy. Oh yeah. Those are great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> By the way, every time we're on like a proper uh, work call and someone sees that it does generally win the call. All right. Ju- oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I guess um, coming from the 10 position, three quarterbacks, six running backs, eight receivers, three tight ends. You can tell he's done this before until you see these quarterbacks, Sean, Justin Fields, Will Levis and Kyle trash. <laughs> <laughs> I, I accidentally said trash there. Sorry, Kyle Trask. Uh, a little worried here. Uh, 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 running backs, on the other hand, Austin Eckler buying low on Jonathan Taylor, Travis Etienne, Tyler Algier, Zeke Elliott, Zach Evans. I love all these picks except for Zeke. I don't even know if Zeke's. Gonna I don't be even on the know. Team. I don't know if you need to draft Kyle Trask. Why not? He's going to be the starting quarterback. That's real. Yeah. I buy it. I I do think there's going to be a lot of churn down there, and I they they might be horrible, but he, I do think he's going to. They I do believe them when they say that now. Uh, we got Smith Smith and Jigma as the first receiver. That's a little worrisome. Tyler Lockett, Jahad Dotson, Darnell Mooney, Tyler Boyd, Sky Moore, Chase Claypool, Isaiah McKenzie. I like the general uh, philosophy of the build here, going after some of the second year, third year guys who should take a step forward. I I think you're probably going to be uh, if. If if Smith and Jigma doesn't do anything, you're probably going to be in trouble there. And then H- Higby, Bellinger, and Otten, good late round tight ends. I would say you did better than Serial, but not by much. Both of you have weak receiver rooms. <laughs> Pairs well with Kate Otten. I didn't oh. know. I don't know if that was the whole segment, just me talking, but it felt good. No, it was I a like good segment. people at the end. That was good. Roast with Ryan. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you know, deep deep dark secret. I once was a roast master. Oh yeah. Ask me. Or you, can, you can go with Ryan's roses, like uh, Steel Ryan. That's actually spit. better. Way better. <laughs> You you only give out one rose to your favorite. I like it because you <laughs> what it'll be like the Bachelor, except you're matching with the team. You give out one rose to your favorite team from the draft. <laughs> my my youngest daughter goes. T- She's become a big fan of 1027 out here in LA. So oh, we, we, we unfortunately I have to hear Ryan Seacrest's voice sometime. And she goes, Daddy, is it normal for someone to just randomly call you with free flowers? <laughs> <laughs> Very quickly she was onto the bit. She's yes. like, Why? Total setup. Hey, uh, thank you guys so much for calling in uh, for this draft. Make sure you check them out on the SGPN Fantasy Football Podcast. Follow Andrew Rob on Twitter at a Rob twenty three. Follow Justin Bruni on Twitter at SGPN JB. Toss us a nice uh, rating review over on Apple Podcast. Five stars on Spotify. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Ryan's Roses, that bit staying. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>